Can it be possible to find such a villa in the urban heart of metropolitan Milan? Indeed, when you enter the grand garden or pause in the shade of the tall magnolias, follow the footpaths and enter through the iron railings, time loosens its grip and your step slows. This is the achievement of three owners who in 1932 commissioned the architect Piero Portalupi to design the Villanecchi Campiglio and then in 2001 donated it to FI so that it could welcome visitors from all over the world and those who are FI members enter it for free. Wandering through the villa's garden setting, you see Martini's sculpture, part of a wonderful collection of 20th century works left to the villa by the gallerist Claudia Gianferrari. Within the gardens, one may enjoy a break in the coffee bar, either before or after exploring the house itself. Once inside it, you'll find other works by leading masters of the 20th century, like Sironi, Di Chirico, Morandi, Savigno. Within the house, you will discover the salons in which the owners, the Necchi Campiglio family, dwelled. You can imagine them seated on a sofa for a chat, or leafing through a book from the shelves of the library. Picture their lives within this perfect architectural machine created by Piero Portolupi in 1935 and characterised by a modernity that is thorough, innovative and ultra-new for its period. Marvel, for example, at the ingenious security doors of the veranda formed from precious materials. The richness of this house lies in its lavish materials, brass, fine marbles and a playful use of precious woods. Using marble, Portalupi created a tartan pattern. He inserted a conservatory between the two rows of windows. Another architect, Tommaso Buzzi, came after him in the 1950s. Buzzi added Renaissance-style fireplaces and adorned the windows with rich old-style draperies, setting up a kind of dialogue with the royal families of all of Europe portrayed in photographs within the rooms. In the dining room, picture the Necchi sisters, beneficiaries of the famous sewing machine company, and Campiglio, master of the house, with the letter C personalising the dinner service. The table centrepiece is a 1935 original, an exquisite work by the Milanese goldsmith Alfredo Ravasco, which features two fish in enamelled silver, a link with the waves sculpted by the sailing ship on the ceiling. A design of the brilliant Portalupi, who cleverly includes little stars as a reference to his passion for astronomy. But now, let us leave the ground floor reception rooms and go up to the floor above to see the owner's private quarters. As we ascend Portalupi's great stair, we get a better look at Arturo's Martini's sculpture, The Dead Lover, which touches us from above. On the first floor is a long corridor which gives access to the bedrooms. For theirs, the Necchi Campiglio couple called on Tommaso Buzzi to design every detail of the room, including the silver bed and the bedspread with 18th century embroidered inserts. The full height cupboards housing the family wardrobes, including dresses and hats still decked with hat pins and little veils, fragments of lost worlds like the N worked in gold on the dressing table set of Nedanecki, recalling the era when the family patronised celebrities like designer Christian Dior, who dedicated two scarves to the sisters, marking them with personalised dedications. Today, these two pieces are preserved in Neda's wardrobe, along with gloves, dresses and handbags from Gucci. The room is not far from that of the wardrobe mistress, whose bathroom has a round window that recalls the star-shaped window of another bathroom in the house. A beautiful thing about the villa is that one donation leads to another. In this case, the Di Micheli couple have left to fire their 18th century salon, which has been recreated within Villa Necchi with its marvellous French cabinetry, German porcelain, Venetian paintings, even a canaletto which brings to central Milan the Grand Canal of Venice. Meanwhile, Portalupi's meridian reminds us that time passes and that Milanese architecture follows its unstoppable course towards modernity without ever betraying the villa's 20th century heart.